generation of all-electric vehicles designed and built like no other, meaning every turn is met with unwavering confidence. But isn't that what you'd expect from the ultimate electric driving machine? Free in the lease the BMW iX xDrive 50 for $9.89 per month. Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. Now at 6.30, a deadly and violent crash caught on camera in Riverside. It's hard to watch. This morning, we are learning more about the child who was killed and his siblings who are still in critical condition. Plus, she was slow in her return to the Capitol last week, and now we're learning about a concerning interaction with California Senator Dianne Feinstein. And is Depp done with Hollywood? Johnny Depp giving a rare public interview at the Cannes Film Festival. The brand new interview just into our newsroom. Good morning. The time is going Going on 631, I'm Rachel Brown alongside John Gregory. Leslie Sykes is off this morning. Leslie Lopez watching the weather and that cloud cover behind us. Leslie Lopez gets thicker and thicker, it I seems. I know, we've been watching it grow. <laughs> and yeah, it's getting closer to the surface now. Downtown Los Angeles, it does mean our temperatures will probably be reduced on account of that cloud coverage staying pretty stubborn. So we'll count on some low 70s today there. Orange County will get a little bit warmer, 74. Inland Empire Valley spots, well, the valleys will stay around 87, but the Inland Empire has that opportunity of getting into the low 90s today with a threat of thunderstorms, a 10% chance for the Inland Empire. At the beaches, we do have that marine layer. It was stubborn yesterday, but it did depart and there was sunshine right around late morning, early afternoon. The anticipation today, just because the onshore winds are a little stronger, it'll probably be a little bit more delayed today to get the sunshine back at the coast if we get it at all. And the mountains, 68 degrees with a 20% chance of a thunderstorm. And then the high desert communities also dealing with a 10% chance of thunderstorm activity as a possibility. That could also include hail and then also very strong gusty winds. All right, Scott Reif and Air 7 HD sending it over your way. That camera in Burbank, I can no longer see the street so yes some of those clouds really getting thick here yeah, to the north of us, we can see a little sunshine popping through. Here's a look across the runway. There's no wind, but there's a lot of fog here still at Van Nuys Airport, so that keeps us grounded, at least for the moment. You see a nice plane go by, a jet taxiing away. They can take off. All right, we'll go to a map in Santa Clarita, and you, this is just a tough spot to have an accident. 14 freeway stop at a Golden Valley Road, an accident with a semi, the left lane blocked. It, it doesn't take much to back up the 14 southbound out of Aqua Dulce, even Acton sometimes, so give yourself a lot of extra time on the South 14. That's an accident with a semi. It could take a while to clear. John, Rachel? Yeah, and it's always a tough drive. Okay, Scott, thanks. Uh, Dianne Feinstein denying she was ever absent from the Senate after having spent months away recovering from shingles. Eyewitness News reporter Tony Cabrera is here in studio with the details on this. Tony. Well, John, Rachel, this all happened with reporters yesterday after she voted on the Senate floor. As she was leaving, in passing, they were apparently asking her about her health. According to the LA Times, a reporter asked Feinstein how her fellow senators reacted to her return. This was her response. What have I heard about what, she asked. About your return, the reporter replied. She said, I haven't been gone. I haven't been gone. I've been working. The reporter replied, you've been working from home is what you're saying? She then says, no, I've been here. I've been voting. Please either know or don't know. Last week, the 89-year-old was back on Capitol Hill for the first time in more than two months. She's been using a wheelchair as she continues to recover from shingles. At the time, she said her doctor has recommended she work on a lighter schedule. Democrats were happy to have her back. When asked why she decided to return now, she said she simply felt better. During her absence, though, some Democrats in the House had called for her resignation after a number of important items were stalled, including judicial nominations. Critics say there's no way she can effectively serve the state of California. In the past, she has waved off questions about her cognitive and physical abilities. Feinstein is the oldest sitting member of Congress. She already has plans to retire at the end of her term, which isn't until next year. Live in studio, Tony Cabrera, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Okay, Tony, thanks. Uh, this morning, we're learning more about the children involved in a deadly head-on head head crash in Riverside. Uh, Eyewitness News reporter Jaysha Patel live at the scene with the very latest. Jaysha. 
John, that horrific crash was all caught on video. We've been out here all morning. Lots of speeding on this road despite a school zone right down the street. Now that eight year old boy unfortunately passed away and his 10 year old sister and 16 year old brother are in critical condition. This accident was all caught on camera. If you take a look at your screen, you can see that video. This happened yesterday morning and the siblings were passengers in that dark gray Nissan.